This is Mission Control Houston continuing to watch the flight of the shuttle training aircraft by astronaut Scott Altman over the Edwards Air Force Base simulating the space shuttle approaches to the landing site there. Altman approaching uh, runway 22 at the Edwards Air Force Base, coming in from the uh, northeast. Which is an option for the uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis uh, during one of the landing opportunities today. Houston Atlantis will give you block 22 in about two minutes. Hey, CJ, we copy. We'll be ready for block uh, 22 in about two minutes. That sounds great. The crew on board the uh, Spatial Atlantis is resuming the deorbit preparations. The next step will be to align the inertial measurement units on board to update the navigational information. Atlantis, uh, Houston, uh, just to get your mind right, uh, we're going to have you ready. We're going to be ready for you to begin fluid loading. Uh, we are still looking at the weather at KSC. We're not ready to, uh, to pull the trigger on uh, which site yet, but uh, we are ready for you to begin fluid loading. Okay, we'll go ahead and begin fluid loading. Thanks a lot, Houston. Great news. The crew on board the Space Shuttle Atlantis will begin uh, the fluid loading, which is uh, building up uh, fluids by drinking up to uh, 32 ounces to. Uh, help with their return to Earth once uh, being back in a gravity environment after being in microgravity, which had fooled uh, their body into thinking it had too much fluids and getting ready th rid of those fluids while on orbit. Astronaut Scott Altman completing an approach to the landing site at the Edwards Air Force Base. That uh, on the uh, runway 22 at the Edwards Air Force Base, and he will also uh, attempt uh, an approach from the other direction, runway 4.